It is now time to attack the pumpkin. The smell of fresh pumpkin. Something I don't smell very often. Ah. 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 This pumpkin has a really thick shell, so I'll have to go and clean that out later a little bit. Wow. Should have made the hole in the top a bit bigger, but it'll be fine. When I was carving out the innards of the pumpkin, I accidentally sort of made this crack. It sort of happens where I didn't exactly do the lines work. Too right. There you go. Here's a better look of it. But, but I don't think it'll affect it too much. And well, I just spent some time simplifying the mythosaur skull. The mythosaur skull, so it would be more would be more carvable to say. Just sort of simplified it using vector graphics. So now I have to cut it out and put it on here and trace it out. And now we can just throw the pins away so they wouldn't fabric. Yeah. So we're going to use normal sewing pins to pin the design onto the pumpkin for carving. I'm just making slits in it so I'll be able to pin it down successfully. See how that buttons okay. it out. We just went and got some sewing pins. Well, here's the pin cushion to pin on the design to the pumpkin. There we go. Now I'm going to carefully Trace out the border design with a knife. I need to use a different knife. Too dull. This is a better knife. I used this knife to carve last year a pumpkin that had Star Wars on it. Not the whole word, but just SW in the Star Wars font, or the Star Jedi font as it's sometimes called. Darn. It's gripping a little bit. That's not good. Maybe this will be... Ah. There. Okay. I had some problems. So, we're now switching to a skewer to trace the lines. put these here so no one will get pricked on them. Voila! The darker ones are where it was with the knife. Yes, it does appear very faint. Don't put it too close, Mom, or else it'll just be blurry. It's very faint, but it's there. If you do this yourself, you'll see it, definitely. Okay. While it was off, um, I added so it was more easily to see. I mean, still it's hard to see with the lighting, but there it is. And I also had the letters B, 
and F on either side, standing for not for boyfriend, not for best friend, but for Boba Fett. <laughs> and so now it'll be time to cut. I'll first cut out these letters because they're a whole lot simpler. I can't so always see this. Oh crap. Who cares? You're welcome, Mom. And look, the first piece is almost coming out. There we go. The stem of B. Here comes out the center part of B. Notice how I had to sort of go and style it down. This B has holes in it, I have to do it like that. <laughs> that one on the inside. <laughs> it's alright. There we go. The letter B. Okay. Now for the letter F. Brought to you today by the letter F. Over again. Okay. Got a little bit there. Brought to you today by the letter F. For frog, fat, and fed. <laughs> well, as we're off, I finished up the F. And um, it's time to start the hard part. I like this knife here. This is one I used on a pumpkin last year, and I think the year before that. I don't know. Because even though it is a big knife, it just stays in there. It's not very jumpy, as to say. Just doing little bits at a time. Because I gradually work around and start going around that lightning bolt. I guess these Mythosaur skulls have something to do with Harry Potter. They have a lightning bolt on their forehead. <laughs> well, as I was away, I was doing more of the eye parts, which is sort of delicate. And I have to go and cut it up into little pieces. It's a good thing I got this good and thin when I was doing the little thing. Little pieces. Voila, one eye. Mm -hmm. When my mom, when, well, when I was away, well, or more, when the camera's off, I did a lot. And that's because it's very time consuming. I did out two of the horns, and two of the horns, and a good portion of this. And now, it's just one little hole on the other side of that. And so, this is what it looks like B, Mythosaur skull. See, even the little holes there. I like it. And F. B, Mythosaur, F. I just. That's what it would look like. Mm -hmm.